Hello YouTube, welcome and welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. This is part two of my huge, huge Dollar Tree haul. Um, let me just jump right into it. I have to do it like this right now, for right now, because I actually have a part-time job that I work, I st I'm still working about 35 hours a week, so I don't know if, that's so, if that is so part-time, you know? Uh, so I have a part-time job, but I only go there four days a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, right? But I'm doing 30 to 35 hours in those four days, you know, just kind of push it in eight, nine, and 10 hours a day. Because sometimes I do go ahead and get my 40 for the week, just in those four days. So I asked for my schedule to be like that. I had to pipe it down some, as y'all see, I would start slacking on YouTube and slacking on just everything else I was doing, especially my housework and just being at home. So. I did that with my part-time job, and now um, I'm still pretty busy, even though I only work four days a week. The three days I'm at home, I'm trying to play catch-up and clean up and do some cooking and different stuff like that while I'll be at home. Um, God is good, though. God is so, so good. Even outside of my part-time job and YouTube, I definitely have two more things that I do, plus I have a huge, large, big king family. So... Uh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do this video like this. I'll just go break it up and be able to push out some videos for you guys all week long and then go from there. Uh, next one might be a, a grocery haul. I don't know that I break up or something. I don't, I don't think I break up a grocery haul, but Dollar Tree, man, I found some good stuff. So let me just keep on rocking. First, thing I want to show you what was in my thumbnail. Okay, Tiffany Tiffany, I know y'all watch her. If y'all watch Dollar Tree hauls. She's like almost, she's up there. She's like one of the queens of Dollar Tree House. Um, one of, because there are a lot of really good ones. I just, I, it's just too many to name. And I watch all of them. Um, she showed, the reason I mentioned her is because she showed the big 12 pack of socks. Gideon, I believe, Gildan. They, I think they sell this at Walmart. And then on the back, you know, it got Gildan on the name on there and stuff. Big 12 pack. That This don't make any sense. Crew pair. Mid crew. Mid crew. So I guess stretch cotton. Wow. And then for men, this is men's too, 6 to 12. It's not real quick that you come across the men's size, right? These are men, right? Come on, I'm looking, looking, looking. Does it say men? Yeah, back here it say men's. And I'm trying to see that I see it anywhere else, though. Men's. It sure say women's real big on all of them, but this one don't say real big. But on the back, it do say men's. Like, oh, right across there. Right there is men's. Uh-huh, men's socks, okay? Um... Just, just look. Just, just, just an excellent deal, a dollar twenty five cent. Just, just an excellent deal. I, 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 I have no, no words for that one. I've never found nothing like that in the Dollar Tree. Now, at one time, now I did find those separate boxer shorts that you know, and then you could find them with the Star Wars and other different characters on them. Um, I forgot what they were called, but anyway, those boxer shorts separated. But at one time, they were selling whole packs of boxer briefs. Boxer briefs. Not underwear, but the boxer briefs. My sons, they were wear, they wore boxer briefs. And at one time, they were selling full packs. I'm talking about they had the double X, they had the largest, and they had smalls. I think it was the Gildan brand. I think it was. And they had the six packs. It was a full pack of boxer briefs. I looked and looked for them. I never got my hands on that. Woo! I never did, but I really wanted to get those for my sons and maybe even my um, husband because they all wear the boxer briefs. Okay, next we're going to go to the, I got two of these. These are, this is the Welch's Sparkling Berry Soda. Never had this one. I've had, I think that Blue Fanta Soda. And I love it, you know, I'm a, I'm a soda fan. And I try to lay off them as much as I can, you know. I don't do them too much, but... I'm going to put these in the refrigerator for us. So while we watch WrestleMania, we could be drinking on these. I don't even know what we're going to eat for WrestleMania. I don't know. I don't even know what we're going to eat. 
I said I was gonna get my free tropical smoothie, and I think today I I'm getting that today. I'm gonna get that today. Oh, have you guys ever heard of Kung Fu Tea? Kung Fu Tea uh, is a restaurant, and they sell the bubble teas and all this and that in the third. But they also sell ices, and there's one ices called it's one icy called the coconut. I think it's coconut mango. Icy, very good. I've only had it one time. I watched it during. I had it during our last pay per view watching, which was I think the Elimination Chamber. I think it was the Elimination Chamber we watched last, and I had um, a coconut mango. Slushy from Kung Fu Tea. Very delicious. Now, my kids, every time they have Kung Fu Tea, they're fighting each other for the bathroom. I, I ain't got time for that. So I, I just really am not trying to trying to try their teas and their bubble coffees or whatever you whatever they be getting. But over there, their ices are very good. Very refreshing and good. Alright, I did buy this. They have these all the time in Dollar Tree. This oil dispenser. Uh, glass bottle oil dispenser and they have one for vinegar also thing about it um, I was gonna do some recipes like in the big foil pans and I know I'm gonna have to drizzle my oil over it in order to do it so but one of these I'm really gonna need it only thing is how do you clean this okay but I'll, I'll figure it out I just want to know the best way to clean these type of bottles too but anyway so I did get I got this okay all right, so that's for some recipes coming up. Yes, yes, yes. Keeping it moving. I did get the forks. I got the forks. Hey. So I was talking about it during the last video, but I didn't want to tell that I had already got the forks. But I got the forks. Six pack. Six. Six forks in here for $1.25. Name brand. Good find. That's why I like watching Dollar Tree Halls. I'm not going to... I love watching Dollar Tree Halls to see what other people are finding. And if I know I really need... Move down to two forks. Apparently, when you tell Dunabug and Tink to put something in sync, they will head toward the trash with that fork, spoon, plate, or bowl. They will head toward... So now we have to watch them. We got to watch them closely. They will head towards that trash in a minute with the forks and spoon. I don't know what their problem is because stuff don't grow on trees. We gotta buy this stuff. So yeah. Six packs. I bought four packs of these. Four packs. And if I come across any more, I think we got some more in the back. And our stock room is just like, whoa. So there's like at least 800 boxes of product to put out back there. So, uh, cause we can, we stay on top of the best we can, but there's always four to six hundred boxes to, to push on back out, push out, push out. Which is really not a lot. Each U-boat holds 60 to 80 boxes. Sometimes I've been there. So once you get four or five U-boats, well, probably eight to nine U-boats done, you're done with the room. So, you know, you just got to be pushing, got to be pushing. But I know some more of these are back there. And I want to get two more packs of forks. I'm probably going to check my kitchen real good. But I think I can hold two more packs, you know, and I'm just going to put them in there and at least we'll have plenty of forks and teaspoons. I got these in the teaspoons too to last us. Yes, yes, yes. This is a really good name brand find right here. I really want to show these. Kared. Kared alcohol prep pads. 100. You can use these for all type of stuff. I guess maybe wiping your makeup off. Uh, cleaning off a little wound or scratch before you put a band-aid on it. But I use these for my nails. I, I wear press on nails. I file my nails down, push my cuticles back, and then I wipe down my nails real good. I wipe them down real good, and it helps the glue. It dries out all the oil, and then any kind of dirt and stuff that's in it is going to clean it out, whatever. And then... It helps the glue adhere to your nail better. My nails always stay on two weeks. I always have to take my nails off in order to get rid of them. I always have to take off my press-ons. I absolutely love my press-on nails. And I'm very happy to get these right here. I loaded up on them. Because these are the Curate brand alcohol pad wipes. I think we had two or three more left. 
if they still there by the time I go back to work, if they still there, I'm going to get about two more packs. I, I, I really am. I really am. Oh, something I really did want to show you guys before I finish up, finish out this video. Because it looks like 10 to 15 minutes come up so that I go quick. Because I be running my mouth. I be want, I'm ready. I really be want to talk to you guys. And anything that, you know, come to my mind, I really want to let you guys know. Here lately, the police has been really, really hot up here. Northern Alabama. I'm in the northern Alabama, um, Madison, Huntsville area. And they've been really, really hot up here. They stopped my girls the other, just last night. Just last night, they stopped them. And they said that the car that they were in was the same make and model of a car that gave them a high-speed chase. They had the girls out there. Yeah, we were just not getting off work. Tamia just went to go pick her up from work. So it was Tamia. It was Tamia. And then it was Yasmin. Okay. They they searched the girls, searched the girls' purses, searched, searched the car, my car, and then set them on their way and when they set them on their way see they had me on the phone the whole time and then the officer talked to me because the registration was in my name so they called me and they was like uh mama you know they knew i was the mom they're like mama um what's going on what where was this car last saturday at 9 30 because it, it led us on a high speed chase they at first they said same place they said that my car had the same plates as the car that led him on the high speed chase. Just stop. Just stop, y'all. Just stop. Really. At the end of the day, I, I saw a movie. The movie was like this. If you got any kind of, if you got any kind of um, hardcore evidence on me, I'd be in handcuffs. These girls were not in handcuffs, but they did treat them like they were criminals. And I, you know, it's pretty mean i just feel like pretty bad pretty mean but he said mama uh where the car this and that who all drives your car this and that blah 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 when he got through talking to me on yasmin's phone mind you he wasn't you know they they were on yasmin's phone they was talking to me he hung the phone up right <laughs> nah nah i called right back and i said yeah I'm put me on speaker and uh so i am this is mama i'm back on speaker whoever hung up on me i think he didn't care for that but I tried not to, I just did not want them there with the police without me just at least on the phone or whatnot. The way they were acting, you know, it was like, well, you, you guys could be considered suspects because this is the same make and model car. At first, they told you yeah, them did the same license plate. After they read the license plate, I'm sure it came back negative. Because at the end of the day, long story short, they just told the girls, if it was you, don't do it again. It is not safe to give the police a chase. I'm like, if it, if, I, you know, they were wild for that. Real, real wild for what they did to the girls last night. But it wasn't even last night. It was like about 4.30 in the evening, 4.35 in the evening. They were just not getting off work. They saw her in her suit. I don't even know what the, ain't nobody got time for that. And they're not doing that. And that, is, that was not the car. It was the same make and model. Of course, okay, it was. But... They know dog but it wasn't the license plates they were looking for or nothing. I'm gonna show y'all this last item. But anyhow, y'all, y'all be careful out there. Uh, my girls are in their twenties, their early twenties. Uh to me his boyfriend has been um Otis, which is yeah, uh so that might well be son in law, whatever. You know, he's been around for almost three years now, him and Tate been together. He's been stopped on several occasions. And I'm talking about they put like the girls, they had two cop cars out there with them. They had they would have an upwards of four cop cars out there with this one young man mind you you know a young man who's really you know all he does is you know work go to church and spend time with tay that's about what he does with his life you know and he, he do go to the gym and work out stuff like that just different stuff like that you know that i know of and him and tay go to dates and different stuff like that that's about it they got four cop cars out on this young man you know he actually, he graduated with his bachelor's in, um, cybersecurity. I believe it. Yeah, I think it's cybersecurity with his bachelor's. And he works in that field. And they, and when he gets out of work sometime or else when he leaves the house, um, uh, from, uh, visiting Tay or taking Tay somewhere or something like that and goes at night onto his house. I know he's been stopped twice. I don't know what they're doing here in Northern Alabama, but like, please, just, you know, start dealing with real criminals. You know, stop 
real I don't say stop real criminals, but you know, I know it's a couple of uh, crimes you guys have not solved. Get on that, you know. You guys are just stopping and picking and trying to give tickets to any and everybody you can. Lord, you guys, please. But anyhow, I don't know exactly what's going on. A lot of times during the beginning of the month, police have like, they used to have what they would call a quota they would have to meet. I don't know what's going on. I just tell all of my son-in-laws, daughter-in-laws, whoever, and my kids, and all of them, the younger people between 20 and 30, answer the police questions, answer their questions. Try to get somebody on the phone there with you. Try to if you can. Or somebody out there with you, you know. I don't, they shouldn't be able to do anything about somebody coming to your aid or to your side to see what's going on and why they stopped you or whatnot. And just um, comply with what they're, what they're saying, you know. And just normally, you can just smooth it on out and it go. you can go on home. Normally. So anyhow, get y'all long story. So just keep all our young people in prayer. And the older ones too. Because when I'm dealing with the police, I, I be a little iffy. I'm always looking. I'm always looking. You know, I don't, I don't. I don't know. It's just something. And it's crazy that you can't hardly, you, it, you feel like you can't hardly trust the police, but that is who supposed to be our protectors, you know? So it, it's just kind of, it, I don't know. Two way street there, huh? All right. I did find these. Ooh, the Manhattan Chipotle Jasmine rice. And I believe there is the Basadi rice out there also. There is another flavor out there of this Manhattan rice. This is your Chipotle one. Uh, it's, it's the microwavable one. You put it in the microwave and it comes out. It's some good old, uh, this like probably be like a little spicier rice, you know, to eat probably with tacos and stuff. I probably wouldn't even have to just make up that rice for tacos and burritos. This is good all the way until December. It is now April. So I have a good, mm, seven months or so or eight months to eat this. So, um, I did get five packs. Now, I didn't only get two. I got five packs of this. And I might get five more packs. I'm sure we'll go through ten before then. Because for each dinner or each burritos and different stuff that we be making and stuff like that, we'll need two to three packs just to feed our family. I know at least two each. So six packs won't be number three dinners. So I'm sure we'll need at least six dinners with this by December. That's what I'm going to say. You know. All right. So I'm going to get three more packs. Not three more packs. I'm trying to get enough. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So I got five. I might. I ain't gonna get ten more packs. I probably will get seven more packs. So I'll probably get seven more packs if I can. And I'm trying to wait to see if the other flavor come in because six of them will be um, the other flavor, the basmati rice or whatever flavor it is. I think it's like garlic and herb or something like that. I don't know for sure. And then get one more chipotle. But so I know I need one more Chipotle, so I'll probably just get that next week when I go to work because it is going down quickly. We only got like three boxes of these. All right, you guys. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening. And until next time, YouTube, stay blessed.